what exactly are we trying to salvage? What are we trying to salvage? A shocking new report from the Biden administration to members of Congress. They held a classified briefing with senators that Iran could produce enough material for a nuclear bomb in two months. And yet, we still have our negotiators, like Rob Malley, in Vienna trying to negotiate a way back into that nuclear deal. This is rolling out exactly as we warned it would back in 2015 during the original negotiations. Uh, one thing I would say, Jordan, one of the one of the members on Capitol Hill said that it's sobering and shocking. It's certainly sobering, Jordan, but here, here's one point of disagreement I have with them. This is not shocking. This has been readily apparent from the beginning, and some of us, Jordan, have been sounding that alarm since 2015. Senator Chris Murphy, he's a Democrat from Connecticut. Quote, the assessment of where Iran's nuclear program is right now is downright scary. That's a U.S. senator. Downright scary. We have the strongest military in the world. And, and our senators are saying this is scary. And yet we have not made that pledge to say, you know what? We're never going to allow this to happen. It's scary, but we'll stop it. Instead, it's, it's scary. So we're going to try and get into another nuclear deal with them. We cannot allow allow Iran to threaten us into a bad deal or an interim agreement that allows it to continue to build its nuclear capacity. Nor should we cling to the scope of an agreement that it seems some are holding on for nostalgia's sake. As I said seven years ago, hope is not a national security strategy. That is a Democrat U.S. senator. Bob Menendez, calling out the Biden administration, saying hope is not a strategy. Uh, uh, They they are claiming for nostalgia because these same people were in the Obama administration and they want their deal so that their European friends think they're they're cool and they've done all this. Iran is in the driver's seat. We are there as supplicants. We are there as beggars trying to revive, as Senator uh, Menendez said, a deal because of nostalgia's sake. Our talks with Iran have reached an urgent point on mutual return to full implementation of the JCPOA, a deal that addresses the core concerns of all sides is in sight, but if it is not reached in the un- in the coming weeks, Iran's ongoing nuclear advances will make it impossible for us to return to the JCPOA. Why would it be impossible? Because they would have the weapon. So there would be no purpose. I don't have a lot of sympathy for Senator Menendez on this because he didn't ask the right questions at the original time, but he is asking the correct questions now. And Jordan, he wants to know what the deal is. He wants to know if it's different or if it's new or if it's the same terms. Jordan, if it's the same terms, that entire deal would be about ready to sunset anyway. So even if you thought it was worth something then, which I didn't and he did, even if you thought it was worth something, Jordan, it's worth nothing now. The question with this administration, is what would they be willing to give them to think that Iran won't take that nuclear material? I, I mean, then I guess that would be their view at this point: is that they have the nuclear material. Maybe we can pay them off not to build the missile to to, to launch it. Why would they not think that? It's what they got last time. They got the ability to continue to enrich, and they got pallets full of cash. I think they think they can get the same thing because they have the same negotiators sitting in front of them. Take a listen to Iran's foreign minister. It's translated. Because it's exactly what Iran hopes. Americans must show their goodwill in action. In our view, this means tangible things happening on the ground. Lifting part of the sanctions in a real and objective manner could be interpreted as the goodwill the Americans talk about. What happens on paper is good, but it's not enough. Even if you were the Biden administration and you thought some sanctions relief would be good for Iran, the fact that the sanctions relief they've provided so far have been connected to their nuclear program, while at the same time they're briefing senators that they're two months away from having enough nuclear material for a weapon, uh, to me it just shows where Iran knows they've got them right in the corner they want them. They are intent on pressing their advantage. And that is because the Biden administration has a well-earned reputation for capitulation, surrender, fecklessness, and spinelessness. And this is encapsulated by what? The disastrous withdrawal in Afghanistan, the the failure of the Biden administration to secure the United States border, while the Biden administration is now claiming it is prepared to protect the Ukrainian border. The number one state sponsor of terrorist groups around the world. 
And what they have done, if they can get U.S. senators, and I mean, I, I take it at their own word, actually. If, if U.S. senators walk out of a briefing saying they're scared, then Iran's got you exactly where they want you. You start throwing money at the problem because they're not really willing to take the action to stop the problem. 